Ant-Man1793 here. A quick little, before we move on to Blight Town, wanted to make a note that I'm going to be using the big club, and I wanted to go ahead and buy Paid Knight Shards, so when I do find it, I will be able to reinforce the... Mm. Excuse me. Reinforce the weapon once I arrive at... Because I can re reinforce weapon, armor, everything to plus five. So at least I can have the great club I find there that high. So, without further ado, let's get to Blight Town. But we gotta go through the depths again, all the way down. It's a little bit of a hike. I kinda, I kinda do a crisscross section here. But it gets some check marks done beforehand before you're before you get to Anna Londo and then you're like, well crap, like I still gotta take on this boss and this boss and this boss before I can take on this boss, this boss, and this boss. So I already do that. I get that done. We're we're ahead of the game. So we're gonna hit this bonfire in case we die. And then again, yeah, uh, now for real Z's. Ha, I'll see you in Blight Town. Oh yes, yes, if you are low on the toxic bulbs, although as we move along, there is plenty to find, but you know, just in case, just in case. Let's buy two more, we're holding ten. That's a good number to start off with. Ten of those. And that's it. And we keep going down. Actually, before we move on, my bad. Uh, this place, uh, if you think you need, if you think you want to... Crap, guys. And now that we have lightning spear, these things freaking die one shot to lightning spear if it if it's any consolation so then these guys are the ones that drop all of the large titanite shards and green titanite shards that, you, that I saw that I need with the vine so literally and then if you hit the water you just kind of get an area of effect damage to them which does which will hit multiple but look at that within <laughs> all of that time just they fall it's a it is a low drop rate so you you do have to like you know get that but without a thing else you know it's a decent way to farm now we are finally cooking with gas lights turn way down low it's getting cold outside. Baby, just wait. I said it's getting cold outside. I'm sorry. I'll stop. Uh, it's just like the mood and everything. It just fits perfectly. So we got three baddies. We come up. This is like a very, uh, it's very fun in this place. Ouch, come on. And this, at least it's poison. Am I better with poison? Because I don't have to waste a... I don't have to waste a bloodred pie. Right when we pass these two baddies, though, I'm going to show it, like, in this little clip, uh, there is a... Wait, I see him all the way from here, actually. Never mind. Let's take him out right here. Can I reach? Oh, this is this is challenging. He is far. I only got a shot range of like X. And this Yeah, no, I'm not hitting him. Not from this distance.
but you could see him ever so. He's the first dart boy. You can, in fact, backstab. There you go. Now with the parry, that's, that is questionable. But they already start running towards you if you see that on the right, bottom right. Come on, let's get a swing. That's not, that's not in front of me though. And I, you know, I'm not going to try parrying. I got into quite the shooting match with the, the blowing dart dude on top of the tower there. He ended up toxicing me, toxic, whatever. Uh, all just for this proud night. Honestly, that was ridiculous. Um, I guess my bow is out of commission. That was quite useless of it. I, I just didn't know what to predict. I think I should have upgraded the bow a bit before wandering into this place, but yeah, that's fine. So we got this top layer of Blight Town. The area is honestly pretty small. It's just whether or not you're you're you feel compelled to scout it out versus just run for everything. So Yeah, like that. You know, you're compelled to, to venture, and then you fall down a hole, and you don't even know where you're at. Oh, you got hounds. Beautiful. I think I should have known better that this place was full of traps and scaffolds, but it wasn't even in my notes, actually. Keep going down. Just for a little humanity. Honestly, the more of those I find, the better, though. So I don't have to go back and farm more humanities. Seems pleasant. But then you ask, how do we get back around? Honestly, we find that out ourselves. I don't really know. Oh, we have to cross this moving bridge that's awful to cross. It literally just moves and will we'll fall right under you. But at least this drops us right underneath the bonfire. Don't want to get caught out over there. And three more blooming purple moss clumps. So I didn't have to buy any more. Climb up the ladder. And then surprise, surprise. We are at the bonfire. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. But also bear with me because I also don't know it like the back of my hand yet so we're gonna light this bonfire and I'm gonna go back for whatever that item was just to tell you what it was I have the area or the first part basically cleared out we're gonna go over like this first part from the bonfire that right there is the Laedo and you gotta like run and jump from up there to get there but I'm not gonna I don't really need it it's a dex weapon we're going strength this build. So up that ladder, we roll. There's some souls here. Up this ladder is the shadow set. Let me show some piece of it. The shadow mask, look at that. It's very light. No poise. Another soul over there. And that clears out this little goodies. 
so then we're fighting two dogs, two people, and then up there, like, uh, that way, perfectly that point, is the next toxic dude. So follow this route exactly to get there. You know, run, run, run. Shield up. Roll. Roll down. There'll be two guys here. Let's see what this item is. Proud Knight. Roll down. And then we got this ladder specifically. The dude who's sneaking up in that hallway may see you and then wait for you at the bottom of the ladder, but who knows? It's only happened to me like every other time. So sometimes he doesn't see you. Sometimes he does. Right here is where it is. Boom pow. You take him down. I forget if there was something. It's the whip. It was like the notched whip or something. So I, I really... Really am not all that uh, caring for it. And that's the area to get to the... Yeah, we'll do it. We need to come down this area, though, to take down the... little monster. You can come down a little bit. Take him down to two hits. We come down here and we show up right here. That takes care of all of this. Power within. And there is a ladder. Donde esta? that way there's the ladder you saw that ladder going down little little long little short we're making it so now we just have a couple of like the pyre fire whip dudes we'll have some bugs coming our way and one more i think just one more uh toxic dude and that should be all so you come down just a little bit and before you even get to your first ladder you grab out your bow again and you see see him wiggling you see that wiggle let's see what our bow does perfect no. Come on, stand up. Come on, stand up for me. Perfect. With that guy taken care of, a less less scary. He starts shooting at you pretty early. He took the dive. What's behind here, you might ask? It's an interesting set. Oh no, this is the set we needed. The Wanderer set. Yes. Now we got half the set that I had in my Switch game. Just half of it. I need to go get the dinghy set. But we're basically... We basically made it to the bonfire. And this is like the most peaceful... Peaceful way I've done this, honestly. Okay, maybe not peaceful peaceful, but... But hey... We'll take it. Ow. It fell through there. 
We got a couple of things around the around here, but nothing too spicy. Ten thousand is a good one, but now that we're already level sixty, it's pretty pretty low, I'd say. Ay, ay, ay! Finally, we got here, and now it's just Mildred, and then the boss. Ugh! If you stayed this far, I applaud you. I have Mildred. We have the next Firekeeper Soul, the Great Club, and then Quaylog. And hopefully I can get that all done within 10 minutes. <laughs> so first up, Mildred. We come out here. Dark Eater, Dark Man Eater, Dark Spirit Man Eater, Mildred. Where are you running to, Mildred? Yeah. Oh. Easy. Okay. Dark Spirit Mildred has vanquished. Does have an interesting strength weapon, which I've never really used, but... Maybe uh, maybe I'll use one day. Oh, behind here is a dragon scale, which is that was a loud motorcycle, which was I don't even know what I use dragon scales for in this game. What I want to, I think it's for the dragon weapons. But other than that, I don't don't know. So with further ado, oh this thing's still chasing me. And now we got the club. My club is just over yonder. Behind these two Nimbus souls. Ouch. They will continuously do that. Great club. Alright, back to that bonfire. Grabbing the great club and upgrading it to plus six, five, already does... 300 more da- 100, not 300, 100 more damage than the mace. So we're doing good. So now we- I think I just paused and unpaused. But I'm trying to go grab the Firekeeper Soul before I do Quaylog. We got record, record. We go up the elevator a bit. Ouch. Oh. The ladder. One more ladder. One more ladder. Was confusing myself for a second. I could suicide run for the Firekeeper's soul, but I want to keep my humanity. So we'll see how this works. Screw it, we just run for it. You just, yeah, just do it, just, it's too complicated. Sure, you lose 16,000 souls, but who needs them? Well, if you do want a suicide run, you are better off just throwing on the frickin', the frickin', um, rare, uh, just a ring of sacrifice, but either way. Now, without further ado, Quaylog. 20 minutes in, and I feel like I actually got this video looking quite sharp. So now we bolt it. 
because we get to summon Man Eater Mildred. Uh, we do grand damage. And everything in between. We just have to run. We have to run by these people. Perfect. You evaded them. Now we run. Once you're in here, they don't. They may throw stuff at you, but you're safe. You're safe. Let's summon Mildred and call this a wraps. And with that, that part, at least we're done for like Blight Town. We want to grab the Chloranthi ring, but other than that. Like, we are pretty much... We did pretty much finish it up to stuff. So, I don't even think... Uh... We don't even need that. The Dusk Crown. I don't know where that is. So, we're not gonna half my HP. That sounds ridiculous. I think I only needed 10. I kind of want to know how much my, my club does. 267. That's nice. But we're going to lightning spear her. Seven, six, see this is just a joke, that, that was just a joke, the lightning spears make this easy when you have summons and you can actually whip them at the person, hey. So 22 minutes, a little long, a little long, but we're going to ring the bell. Our handmaiden is going to die, but we're off to Anne Orlando or after the Chlorian Theoling, we're after, we're out to Anne Orlando. Quaylog's domain's done. Ouch. Don't fall off you unless you're not ready to take that damage. So, the only thing important here is hitting this imaginary wall, answering yes to his question. And this is where you need the tiny beings ring to talk to her, but I don't really care about talking to her. I just want to hit this bonfire because it's a travel bonfire. Okay, now back to the Blighttown bonfire. Before I forget, you can reinforce your SS flask there. And this is where I stop to sh to farm for Titanite shards, large Titanite shards. The the slugs that you see in the corner over there, if you kind of can see that way far out, those things drop Titanite shards and green Titanite shards that you will need. I recommend 20-ish because once we get back to the Firelink, Firelink Shrine, we can grab the dinghy set and then we can fully equip ourselves with the armor that I used and upgrade the armor to like plus six at least. Uh, and we'll need a lot of uh, large side night charge for that. So I'm saying like 20 to 30, maybe 25. Let's just say 25. So with all of that, hopefully I made Blight Town a little bit more digestible and... And I'll see you next time. This is Ant-Man 1793 sending out, and I'll see you later.